today we have a pair of these beautiful ASICS glide ride shoes for review. First, let's have a look at them. This pair comes in cherry red color with black inserts. You can disagree, but I think it looks really impressive. Um, they are made of breathable fabric with plastic inserts inside, for example, to protect your two box from collisions from stones or whatever it could be. Um, the black A6 logo is made of uh, black rubber on top. Um, there's also a plastic insert on the tongue with A6 glide ride on top. Uh, if we turn it around, we can see some additional inserts, some additional plastic elements to protect your ankles, to keep your feet like up in upright position. It's quite stiff, I should say, and at the same time it's soft inside, so it should be fine and comfortable to use. And uh, let's move on to the midsole. This is really a hard one. There's a technology called guide sole with flight foam inside. I think they really invested lots of into R&D and technology here. And you can see this glider profile with four part of the shoe going up. And this is made just like to keep your feet uh, with minimal movement in your ankle. So uh, you, you kind of save energy on these little movements and this should really pay off and save you lots of energy during like long runs, like marathons, half marathons. Maybe you can do some ultras in them. Also, um, there is some gel insert. If you can see that this tiny, tiny layer of it, of course it's A6, yeah, A6 gel, of course. And yeah, I think this made it basically to prevent some occasional heel strikes and save you from, from them, like to prevent some injuries. So if you're a heel striker, you should be covered. All right, but how do they actually feel on the feet? So yeah, they look quite bulky. They're not super lightweight. So my pair was just about 308 grams and 10 and a half US size. So yeah, some shoes are lighter, but these are these, these are quite good. So I think it's like, it's somewhere in between and I think it should be fine for a long run. Glide Ride fits quite well when you put them on. They are not too tight. I can actually feel some space in the two box. And the upper shoe fabric doesn't really stretch much, so it's not of a sock fit kind shoe. I also like the lacing of the shoe. It stays on exactly how you made it, and actually doesn't stretch too much during the run. And by the way, laces are also of a high quality and doesn't seem to loosen at all. The back part of a shoe is stiff and keeps your feet in upright position. As well as the midsole actually, because of the fore part lifted up, your feet are not supposed to bend it. So, ASICS made it quite stiff, it is notably harder to flex than in regular shoes, and this is what actually makes them quite special here. I'll talk about it a bit later. I think it's time to give some real test drive for these guys, so let's put them on and get outside. I performed two running tests in them. The first one was a couple of 400 meter sprint repetitions. Remember I told you they look quite bulky? So the thing is, when you put them on and start running, pretty much all this bulkiness is gone. I mean, yeah, they're still a bit on the heavy side, and yeah, it takes some time to get used to a high profile, but overall, you can do short intervals quite alright. It was rather a positive experience, and with just two concerns. One is a bit of extra weight, and the second one is lack of stability on the uneven surface. For a second test, I took them for a longer run. And in the 20k, I was aiming for a negative split as I usually do, with some occasional sprints in between. And again, running with glide ride feels very smooth, they don't feel big and bulky at all, and I can't say this extra weight is really noticeable. They also respond really well when I want to go faster, and even if I want to speed up here, I'm not really stopped by shoes extra weight or whatever it could be. In the end, I did a couple of tempo intervals during my run, reaching my half marathon pace in them, and it was quite easy to sustain that speed. There is actually one thing that was going with me through the entire run, and I noticed that the fit movement is a bit different to how it was in my regular shoes. In particular, I was running on the forepart with seemingly no heel involved at all. 
it was even more prominent than I usually do with my natural running style, so I decided to dig a bit deeper into how these shoes actually work. To show it better and to compare with regular shoes, I made these two slide-by-slide -slide videos. Yeah, you can see here slide-by-slide -slide, that uh, in regular shoes there is notable bending on the fore part and with the Essex Glide Ride there is little to no bending at all and uh, I think this is why they made this fore part quite stiff because you are not really supposed to bend it at all. So yeah, I think that's the main difference and that also helps your ankle to do less movements when you uh, return your leg back in the gait cycle. So it doesn't really need to move much here. And here is an interesting consequence. Because of this rolling move, there seems to be less movement in your feet and your ankles now need to flex much less for the same reason. Less movements typically means you have more energy in your muscles and also reduce tiredness. That seems to be a good improvement, especially for the long distance running. So the only remaining concern for me would be an extra weight to carry, but well, that's what actually facilitates this glide running movement. This can sound a bit controversial altogether, and this is why I'm so excited to test the shoes in the actual marathon race. So I will finally figure out what's going on, whether it's like a pro or con, this high glide profile, does it bring any effectiveness at all, or it's just like an extra weight you have to carry with you. And currently I'm with the former thing, and I really believe it really has some positive effect, but maybe I'm too optimistic. On a side note, I genuinely like that companies are getting more and more involved into real R&D and trying to bring new innovation into the running sport. It's actually hard to say if this particular pair from Japanese brand can be a real competitor to, let's say, Nike Vaporfly Next or similar, but for me it's definitely a step forward. Some people already got used to the high profile of Hookah 11 for instance, and I would expect Glide Ride to be quite appreciated among road runners as well. Alright, so we figured out how they look like, how they perform on the road, what's the performance, what's the stability. It all looks fine. And now the final question, so what's about durability? I think most of you don't really want to spend like good hundred of pound for brand new shoes and have them lasting just for one or two K. So, okay, so I made about 50 miles in these shoes already. Uh, you can see that upper of the shoe is pretty much alright, pretty much like new. Uh, while the midsole, on the sides you can see some grey marks. Um, and well, it's kind of common for this uh, whitish and light um, midsole. Uh, marks will appear here anyway, and it's quite hard to remove from, from here. And uh, on the outsole, which is I think the most important part for the shoe, you can see that that's on the sides, there are these little uh, protectors, they start um, erasing a little bit. But overall it still looks like new, uh, with just like with some dirt inside of course. And um, yeah, the only concern is, again, this layer of uh, outsole is kind of thin and I'm not sure how long would it last, but as for now, after 50 miles, again, there are like little to no scratches here, little to no erasion. But yeah, it just like started getting erased slowly. Overall, there is a bit more erasion on the uh, heel, I guess. But yeah, I think it should be fine for, uh, for the next couple of uh, 100 kilometers. Yeah, and maybe a few more words about weather resistance. I made some runs when it was pouring outside and it was well, as expected, and uh, there is a slight feeling of having some water repellent properties at the beginning, but you don't really need to expect any real water protection. The good news, the water is being removed quickly, and well, yeah, that's basically what you can expect from them. As for mud, well, again, these are just road running shoes, and you'd better stay away from any mud or wild path walks. I mean, there is little to no spikes or anything for a good traction away from asphalt. And after all, you were not supposed to go there, right? So again, this is just drone running shoes. You don't want to go them somewhere on a trail or on a path walk. They offer little to no protection from weather or nature or mud. So your feet will get wet for sure, but they will help water to escape quite fast.
Finally, let's do some blitz. So, five quick questions, five quick answers about these shoes. So, what terrain are they for? This is road shoes, 100%. Just don't go to the trail, don't go to the passwalk, just stick to a good surface, stick to a good asphalt, and then you'll be fine. What distance? I would say mid to long distance. I would personally love them to take for my next marathon or half marathon. I don't really like how they performed on the speed training, on the speed intervals. They feel too bulky for that, they're too heavy, but you can do that if you'd like. But again, mid distance, long distance running. Training or racing? I think both, but I would personally keep them for racing because I really believe this energy saving technology has something. So this like technological foam and glider profile and all of that, it sounds quite mysterious, but I would give it a try. I really hope that will pay off. Shoe profile. So I think it's quite obvious. So quite high shoe profile, thick heel, thick front part, but very low drop between heel and the front part. So yeah, I'm not sure how it will be for truly natural runners or barefoot runner guys, but uh, low heel to front drop seems to be all right. Okay, and final question, is there anything special about them? Yeah, I think so. So there is like definitely some magic with this R&D and technology and uh, ASICs did really good job investing more money into researching how to perform well on long distances and how to save energy. And I think this is kind of a modern trend, how what bigger brands trying to do now and this is how they want to innovate in running. And this is really good, so I think this is one. And uh, two, second special thing, how they look like. If you want to show off, these are the shoes for showing off. You'll get spotted, you'll get noticed on the entire track. So yeah, I think this is special. All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed this short review of A6 Glide Ride video. If so, press the like button. You can find my running profile in the description under the video. I also left some Strava links so you can check my track and splits and press subscribe if you are interested in more videos like that on Run Repeat channel. See you later, bye bye!